Hello dog lovers and welcome to a new episode of Top Dogs with Alex. We are here today with my friend Buru Paula, master groomer Buru Paula. And uh, Paula, thank Hi. you very much for uh, accepting our invitation and for showing us how to properly groom a poodle. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to be a part of your <laughs> YouTube channel and uh, hope more people uh, will hit subscribe <laughs> on your <laughs> videos. Thank and you. Um, today I groomed my, uh, my poodle. I did an extreme makeover. I changed her haircut. Um, we are competing in the online grooming competition be because of uh, the COVID situation in the world we were not uh, we haven't been able to participate live in grooming competitions so we are taking photos and videos with our dog before and after and we will post it online and uh, How is we the competition have international called? judges the online uh, poodle competition this one is organized in holland we have international judges they are specialized in in poodles and um, now I'm competing in champion class. Whoa, great, great. I hope that <laughs> she will win. <laughs> yeah, we, we hope. Uh, today I did on her, she was in puppy clip and today I groom her in English saddle clip. For me, it was the first time I do this cut on a dog. <laughs> so it was a huge challenge but she behaved really yeah really she well. she was like a top <laughs> model you know never yeah, moved yeah. and uh, we are impressed the, yeah you will see on the video all this super super we were impressed paula how did this passion start uh i started grooming 11 years ago but uh, i first so proper grooming on Animal Planet, you know, the show <laughs> <laughs> groomer has it and I was shocked and amazed by what people are doing there. And then I researched online who will teach me because I wanted to start grooming, but uh, how to start if you don't know anything about uh, proper grooming. Um, so I searched and I find uh, the best teacher in Romania, the best groomer actually here in Romania, it's Attila Kovac from Brasov. I was in his school for one month, I stayed there, but for one month I only bath the dogs <laughs> and dry them, so it was a really hard work. And after that I start, uh, go, I start to go in uh, seminars and workshop and study and study. Uh, my biggest accomplishment was to go to Moscow to school. I did a master class with uh, Anna Bardisheva, which is the most famous groomer in the world. And um, I also had a big challenge for me was to take the exam of master groomer in Poodles. So I'm the first one in Romania who took that exam. I was in, um, went to Germany and took the exam uh, with uh, Umberto Lehmann, which is the president of AGA, European Grooming Association. Which is something similar to FCI when it yes, comes to dog shows. Yes, yeah, yeah? dog show it's similar for, uh, for grooming. So I took that diploma and uh, I start grooming uh, for competition seven years ago. Exactly seven years ago, <laughs> I was in Belgium. And the uh, first time there, there was seven or eight competitors. I was in beginner class and uh, I win with her mother second place. So oh, great. it was a huge. So from that on, my passion started and I you got better and better. better and now that we travel. talk about these shows, I know that you won some competition in Romania uh, and yes. you were the best groomer. Or yes, for, can you for tell now. In the present, I am the best groomer in Romania. The competition was organized in Cluj-Napoca uh, by Pet Guru, and the judges were Kitty Dekelgrisser and Kitty Ponet from Transgroom. The, they are the organizer of Grumania. Grumania is the biggest uh, uh, grooming competition in Europe. So uh, for me, it was a great honor to be judged by them. And I won the first place and uh, best groomer of, of all. So for me, this is, this is my passion. This is my life. I spent my uh, three days because today <laughs> is Monday. And on Monday, I don't work, but I groom my own dogs. 
Thank you for spending <laughs> this time with us. <laughs> I thank you because uh, you helped me with the photos. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's really hard. Usually my daughter takes the photos, but it's really hard uh, to take the photos after. Dog is tired and it's not like in a real life grooming competition where the judges are coming and comb your dog and everything has to be symmetrical. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> she she wants me to stop talking because yeah. she, she's tired, but she she's my winner. Um, I What's want her name? Can you tell her us? Her name is Piggy. Uh, she's a professional model. Uh, usually, she's groomed by Anna Bardisheva because we traveled to Europe with Anna Bardisheva, and she <laughs> groomed her for a lot of uh, workshops and seminar. And we want to brag uh, three years ago or two because of COVID everything <laughs> is <laughs> it's different with the years. Um, Anna Bardisheva competed with her in solo clipper class at Romania and they won the biggest prize, 3,000 euro. They were oh, first place and the best makeover and uh, she's, she's And Biggie, she's also bred by you, yeah? Yes, <laughs> she's my breeding, my one and only breeding, but uh, I hope to breed again because <laughs> you <laughs> encourage me and it will be a pity not to, to yeah, breathe yeah, again. That's clear. And they um, start aging now, you know. So yeah, yeah, you <laughs> need to breed them. And I hope yeah, that in the future we can make I a new episode with maybe with some of her kids. Yeah, <laughs> we, we hope, yes. And I also have her brother in my house, Kibu. her mother. Yeah, and totally I have seven dogs, but only five of them are with for grooming competition the other four I know all of <laughs> Paula's <laughs> dogs because we are <laughs> close friends we know each other for 10 years yes, right after she started years. grooming we yes. we met each other and we are close friends that's why and we I'm grew together yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> that's was like this important. yes uh, Alex grew with uh, breathing and me with grooming and uh, every day it's a new learning experience and for me grooming I don't have the chance to groom uh, many poodles because here in Romania there are not so many so everything I learn I learn on my dogs and I only have the chance to groom them in grooming competition so <laughs> after a grooming competition I take photos and uh, watch those photos and see what I have to do next what's uh, what was good was was not good what I have to improve and every time it's i hope it's better and and better what future plans do you have okay we know that we heard that you want to start uh, breeding and that's great yeah and uh, do you have some plans in grooming some uh, future plans? yes because now uh, grooming competition will start again and i already enroll myself we will go in november i will go with her and with the carry blue i also have a carry blue terrier which is a real rare, rare breed here in romania yeah, it is. so for me he is the first one that i groomed and i learned uh, because it's not easy to groom a carry blue terrier and i will go with her and with him to artero grand slam in barcelona is the is the second biggest uh, grooming competition in Europe. So it's something similar to the European to dog show or world dog show yes, when it comes to FCI. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's, it's almost the same and I will represent uh, Romania there. So I'm waiting for my t-shirt with, <laughs> with the name on the back. Oh, great, so great. Guru Paula, Romania, it's a dream. Great, it's super, dream come true. super. I, r I really hope that you will make a good impression there we and hope hopefully we you will yeah, win. Yeah, my <laughs> biggest ach achievement on, on I'm now I'm break. <laughs> I'm bragging. Uh, is with her in Romania. Uh, we were in fourth place uh, four years ago. Oh. I compete with her, and it's a huge competition. And um, I grad I have uh, great reviews from the judges, and I was very pleased. And Under and one of my biggest uh, thing is everybody knows me i go to grooming competition with really really hairy dogs <laughs> 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 and a lot of good groomers said oh you only have to go with six weeks of hair growth on your dogs because you have to have the time to finish to get that perfect so your job finish. is harder considering yes. that your dogs have and more hair yeah more <laughs> hair but they are some hairy beasts <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> so uh, 
Are there well, many people here. competing on these competitions uh, from Romania? I mean, not so uh, many. Yeah? Not so many from Romania. Only Just a you. handful of, of people that are willing to travel because all these competitions are expensive. We have to pay for the the trip accommodation. there, accommodation, food, and also the um, registration fees because it's not. Too and a lot of people are asking, what do you, what they give you money or something? But no, it's just only trophies and diplomas pride. <laughs> and pride and uh, people know you yeah you know no, that's so great. that's it's a passion you know it's a hobby expensive hobby yeah similar to dog shows you know it's an expensive yeah. hobby yeah you need yeah. to go to you travel need, yeah and uh, you want a new scissors and another scissors and the good scissors are from 300 for 500 euros one one and so you need more yeah, yeah one one yeah. scissor is not enough no, yeah no no and on a comb it's a good comb for a competition it's uh, 100 150 euros and so one is not enough yeah? no it's never <laughs> enough <laughs> yeah. you know some hobbies women, are expensive some women buy jewelry some shoes and, and you buy scissors. scissors. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes. That's great. We have here now the, the full family. Kibu, the brother. The brother. And Pinky, this is the, the, the small one is the mother. <laughs> <laughs> and all of them are in different haircuts. Uh, Kibu is in continental clip and she is in modern clip. So <laughs> now I need another pool to do the puppy clip. <laughs> Yeah, That's so great. they are all very happy because uh, they were in the house and <laughs> every time they saw me they are extremely enthusiastic and uh, wonderful dog. She, she will treat you with her back now <laughs> 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 because she's tired but no, she will not jump from the table. Ah, okay. They are all used from, uh, from very small to sit on the table. Uh, drying takes almost two hours because for a grooming competition the coat needs to be straightened very very well and they are laid down on the table and I use the stand dryer with the pin brush and they just sleep and I listen to the music in the <laughs> uh, headphones. headphones yeah nice yes so nice. Uh, a uh, lot of people are judging uh, uh, that doesn't don't know why my dogs have so much coat and they say poor dogs uh, they will be uh, really hot in the summer but uh, this coat keeps them also uh, cold yeah, it because protects them from the sun it protects them and uh, when it's really good uh, brushed and it's not a problem yeah them I agree and they love my attention because I have seven dogs and the time that I groom them they know they are the most important for me and they appreciate the the time that we have together Great. so it's it's not a torture for yeah, uh, for the clear. dogs and that's you clear. saw and you will see on the video they lick my face uh, she's happy wagging the tail so Nothing back happens. Yeah, we could see they are, that they are happy and that they enjoy <laughs> so the grooming. They are on the table. It's nothing bad uh, happening on the table. So a lot of uh, people that have dogs uh, need to know this. Uh, grooming, um, it's something that has to be a part of the dog, uh, of the dog life. Yeah, it's like women. They need to go yes, for cosmetics. Yes, cosmetics, yeah. dogs uh, also. And another thing for this cut, for the show, uh, take a lot of time of preparation a lot I don't accept I groom very few dogs for show because a dog that goes to a dog show a poodle especially you have to keep all this coat in really good condition and um, only the grooming itself scissoring takes two or three hours to get symmetrical perfect and everything but if before that it's the washing the drying and all the maintenance that takes a long time so so it's not uh, as easy as it looks like, as eh? it looks yes and people need to understand in order to have this haircut on their dog that that dog needs to go to the groomer every week and uh, the groomer has to have a special connection of trust between them and the dog so 
only like that uh, you can make this haircut you can achieve dog. perfection like here yeah yeah <laughs> we, we strive for perfection but yeah it yeah, is for me this is perfect like yeah, looks fantastic so now she's relaxed you see it's she she didn't run away from me from me when i finished yeah her. so she wanted to kiss so, you yeah she wants to jump on my head and kiss me so yeah happy dogs yeah happy it's dogs. like this so Super. she wants she she will be really upset this evening because she's my soul dog and she's 10 years old and she sleeps with me and now she's upset because i spend a lot of time with uh, <laughs> she's jealous, with her yeah? daughter yes yeah, she's really jealous Super. Okay, Paula, thank you very much for accepting once again. And uh, we really appreciate, I love the job that you do. It looks fantastic. And I hope thank that in the so future much. we will work again together. Yes, we hope so. So. <laughs> <laughs>